Uh, my name is Brian Abbott, and I'm the founder of 310antiques.com and La Passe on The first collectible that I bought, um, that and I had profited and bought small items here and there um, when I was a kid, probably starting at 11, 12 years old, 13 years old, that kind of thing. But um, the first uh, kind of real item that would still be relevant and mean something today to a serious dealer uh, was, was actually... Um, the Marilyn Monroe issue of Playboy magazine, the first uh, issue, volume one, number one of Playboy magazine. And um, I uh, discovered it in a used bookshop in, in uh, Bellevue, Washington. And uh, I, was, uh, I would always go to used bookshops uh, when I got paid when I was a kid. I worked uh, in my father's jewelry store and, and when I got paid I would go to these used bookstores and I would look for old reference books on antiques and antique books. So I'd, I'd buy books to me that were interesting that looked like they were a hundred years old or more, the old leather bound books. Um, but I would also buy reference books that, that, that uh, had information about subjects that I was interested in so that I could learn more about that subject and uh, apply it to buying and selling. So it had a price on it and, um, and I'm, I have trouble recalling for sure but I think it was about $500 so they weren't giving it away and this was in the um, probably the early 1980s um, and uh, I went back and met with my father and I said, hey, I, I saw something that I think is valuable. We agreed to a profit sharing split um, in order for him to loan me the money. And, um, and I bought the magazine. And, uh, and I sold the magazine by the end of the day for, um, if, I, if I recall correctly, a thousand or twelve hundred dollars. So it was, it was a, uh, you know, it was kind of a really interesting vintage item um, uh, of, of, you know, probably one of the most famous personalities of all time, Marilyn Monroe.